Hello students, today we are going to learn about covalent bonding. But before we start the topic, let's revise a few things that we did in the last class. So in the last class, we talked about why atoms combine chemically. You know that uh, the very stable configuration for atoms, it is the octet configuration. Octet configuration means eight electrons in the outermost shell, that is the valence shell. So, atoms which do not have the octet configuration, they are unstable. So, they want to be stable. They want to gain stability. And how do they do that? By achieving the octet configuration. And how do they achieve octet configuration? They do it by two ways. The first one is transfer of electrons. Okay, transfer of electrons means loss of electron by one atom and the gain of electron by another atom and the second way is by the sharing of electrons mutual sharing of electrons between two atoms that is why we have two kinds of bonds the first one is called ionic bonding transfer of electrons and second one is called covalent bonding formed by the mutual sharing of electrons and ionic bonding we already discussed everything in the last class we saw that it is formed by the transfer of electrons from metal to a non-metal. And both the atoms achieve stable configuration of octet or duplet. And you could see that metals are usually electropositive. So they try to lose electrons and non-metal on the other hand they are electronegative. Okay, They try to accept electron. So transfer of uh, electrons happen. And ions are formed, positive ions and negative ions, cations and anions. And there exists a force of attraction which is called electrostatic force of attraction and ionic bonding are formed. Then now the next one, covalent bonding. I already told you earlier, last class as well. It is formed by the sharing of electrons. Okay, So let's see the definition. The chemical bond that is formed by the mutual sharing of one or more pairs of electron. They can share two electrons or four electrons. Okay. Between two combining atoms is called a covalent bond. Okay. And the covalent bond uh, formed due to and the compounds formed due to covalent bond. They are called covalent compounds. And out here, you know that ionic bonding is formed between metal and non-metal. But here, covalent bond is formed between non-metal and another non-metal. Because they will have the same ionization energy. Okay, the criteria to form a covalent bond is they should have the same ionization energy. Okay, and same electro, almost the same electronegativity. Now let's understand by taking an example. Example is that of fluorine molecule. Okay, F2. So have a look. Fluorine molecule. It is formed by two fluorine atoms. Two fluorine atoms. You know that fluorine, it is a non-metal. Yes. And fluorine, its atomic number is 9. So its electronic configuration is 2 in the first shell, then 7 in the second shell. Then if you want to draw the electron dot structure, you know how many dots is required out here? 7. Okay, valence electron, 7. So 7 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Another fluorine molecule, uh, so sorry, atom is there, F. For this, I will, I'll make cross. Crosses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, so each of these fluorine atoms have 7, 7 electrons in the valence shell. Now have a look. This wants to attain a very stable configuration of 8. Wants to have 8. This also wants to have 8. It has got 7 electrons. It will need one more electron. So what does it do is, out here have a look. There is no chance of one giving and accepting. Yes, because they will have the same electronegativity. So what do they do is... This will contribute, this atom will contribute 1. It requires how many? One more electron. So what does it do is it contribute 1 electron. This also contributes 1 electron. Then these 2 electrons will, will be kept in the middle and they will share these 2 
atoms will share these electron pair. Okay, it's a pair. Yes or no? Two electrons equals one pair. So, have a look. F, okay. Out here, one, two, three, four, five, six. In the middle, yes. F, one, two, three, four, five, six. In the middle, yes. It contributes one in the middle. It contributes one. Then this one pair of electron is shared by both so now let's count this fluorine has one two three four five six seven and eight electrons this one okay octate this fluorine one two three four five six seven eight eight electrons yes now both of them will have stable configuration of octet by sharing how many electrons two electrons that is one pair of electrons so f and f is there now two electrons equals one bond okay so f and f there will be a covalent bond formed and this is how you represent with the help of one dash okay so f dash f this is a covalent bond sharing of electrons how many electrons one one that is one electron pair okay one electron i've written like this pair okay so f2 okay or not i hope you understood now more examples are there yes another one is hydrogen okay hydrogen second one is hydrogen h2 you know that h2 is formed by two hydrogen atoms yes now hydrogen you know that its atomic number is one configuration is one it will have only one electron so have a look hydrogen one electron yes then another hydrogen one electron yes so what does it do is it needs to have two duplet yes or no so it will contribute one it will contribute one okay then they will share share these two electrons yes so hydrogen here for this one and another hydrogen here it will contribute one okay these two electrons will be kept in the center okay meaning it will be shared by both of these atoms so for this hydrogen one two duplet for this hydrogen also one two okay so you can write h how many pair one pair of electrons so one h or h2 molecule okay so have a look this is a covalent bond it is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons both of them are sharing electrons okay so this usually happens in i told you in non-metals okay because have a look out here we have taken both of these atoms are same okay of the same non-metal so the electronegative difference is zero yes you know electronegativity the capacity to attract the bonded pair of electrons towards itself we have done in the previous chapter no periodic table they will have same electronegativity okay so these two electrons will be placed at the center then next one is hcl okay now let's try to do this next one is hcl hydrogen chloride so hydrogen chloride is formed from hydrogen and chlorine yes now hydrogen Atomic number is 1. Chlorine is 17. How do you write the electronic configuration? This is 1 and this is 2, 8, 7. Yes. Now let's write the electron dot structure. H is 1 dot. Then chlorine is how many? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So have a look. We have hydrogen and chlorine. Hydrogen wants to have one more electron it needs one more electron to form duplet yes and chlorine one two three four five six seven seven it has it wants one more electron yes so what does it do it contribute this one electron and it will contribute one electron and they will share that electron pair so hydrogen will contribute one electron chlorine also one electron yes so hydrogen one chlorine 
one so cl how many are left now one two three four five six yes now have a look these two electrons will be shared by hydrogen and chlorine yes hydrogen let's count how many two chlorine one two three four five six of its own and two shared pair two shared electrons so eight octet very stable configuration then how do you write h how many electrons two means one single bond cl okay hydrogen chloride okay single bond hcl so this is how hcl molecule is formed have a look both are non-metals hydrogen and chlorine as well another one that you have is hydrogen fluoride hf okay hf now hydrogen is one okay i'll do it quickly plus fluorine is one two three four five six and seven similar to this one hydrogen chloride yes it requires one more electron it requires one more electron they will share contribute one this will contribute one so h one this is also contributing one this will be in the middle so f one two three four five and six okay this is the shared pair so hydrogen will have two electrons one two and fluorine one two three four five six seven eight yes and it will be h f okay i hope you understood then next one water molecule is there now let's draw for water h2o okay water now hydrogen is also a non-metal oxygen is also a non-metal it will form a covalent bond so here how many oxygen is there one how many hydrogen two hydrogen okay oxygen one now have a look so hydrogen atomic number is one electronic configuration one will be one oxygen atomic number is eight so electronic configuration will become two comma six yes so i'll just write here oxygen okay six electrons so electron dot structure will be one two yes three four five and six i'll draw like this yes now have a look oxygen it requires how many electrons two electrons it requires okay then there are two hydrogens so what does it do it will share okay it will contribute one this electron and share with one hydrogen okay and it will contribute another electron and make a shared pair with another hydrogen okay are you getting my point i'll have a look what is it doing it has one okay it also has one yes so it needs to have eight this one eight no it is in short of how many electrons two electrons it require so one it will contribute here one it will contribute here okay and form the shared pair one it will contribute here and formed and form a shade pair with the other hydrogen so you will get oxygen okay one two three four five and out here okay so hydrogen will be here this is the shared pair here and here hydrogen will be here this is the shared pair okay so let's count for this hydrogen one two yes for this hydrogen one two for this oxygen one two three four then shade pair five six seven eight octate stable okay hydrogen duplet oxygen octate stable so this is the structure okay now oxygen let's try to draw the bonds oxygen this is the shared pair so a bond covalent bond hydrogen this is a shared pair can you see hydrogen. okay then of its own four are there so let's draw one two three and four so this is your hydrogen h2 water h2 is water okay i hope you understood you require a little bit of practice okay uh, if you do a little bit of practice it will be very easy for you 
uh, you just have to remember this electronic configurations very important how to draw the electric dot structure okay then you know, should know okay if these are metal or non-metal yes non-metal and non-metal covalent bond metal and non-metal ionic bond so next one is ammonia okay ammonia is nh3 molecule okay nh3 this is called ammonia ammonia nitrogen is there then uh, there are three hydrogens okay you know that nitrogen yes nitrogen what is the atomic number of nitrogen five so sorry seven atomic number of nitrogen is seven and the configuration is two comma five yes then hydrogen one so electron configuration is one okay so we have got nitrogen one nitrogen and how many hydrogens three hydrogens so h h h i'll keep like this okay then uh, nitrogen it has got five in the valence shell so one two okay three i'll draw like this four and five because i know they will share electrons with hydrogen so i placed like this okay then hydrogen will have one one each so now have a look nitrogen five electrons how many electrons it needs to require uh, to make octet to have eight it requires three more so it will form three covalent bonds okay so it will contribute one and form a shared pair here form another pair here form another pair here so it will contribute here one electron this also will contribute one electron yes here it will contribute one electron this also will contribute one electron here it contributes one here also one so now have a look what is happening n okay so two its own then this one here in the middle i have to keep no nh okay then here also h then it contributed this one hydrogen contributed from here then here another hydrogen nitrogen contributed and hydrogen contributed this will be the structure yes this is how you write now let's count hydrogen two okay hydrogen one two third hydrogen one two okay then finally nitrogen let's count one two three four five six seven and eight yes so this is what we get now let's try to draw the bonds okay nitrogen is there n where is the shared pair here one yes two electrons means one bond h fine here another shared pair h here third one h yes and two electrons of its own it will look like this so this is your nh3 ammonia okay what is the name of this compound the name of this compound is ammonia okay then after that we have ch4 okay ch4 i'll draw here here ch4 ch4 okay ch4 uh learn the name it's also called methane it's called methane okay now so it has got carbon one carbon and four hydrogens so carbon atomic number of carbon is six okay configuration is two comma four hydrogen is one configuration is one so you have got carbon and four hydrogens okay i'll write like this because i know there will be bonds okay hydrogen is capable of forming only one bond now this carbon it has got four so i'll write one two three and four now out here hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen one it requires four electrons more so it will form four bonds okay 
so it will try to form a co this is a non-metal this is a non-metal okay it will form a covalent bond here by sharing mutual sharing it will contribute one it will contribute one this will contribute one this will contribute one this will contribute one this will contribute one contributes one i've made the arrows okay to show the contribution this is contributing here this is contributing here okay then we'll have okay i'll draw here c yes then four okay c okay i'll start from here contributed one then hydrogen is also contributing h fine here also same thing here then this electron h fine then here of its own here h here also same thing h yes it will look like this now let's count hydrogen one two for this hydrogen duplet fine yes for this hydrogen one two duplet fine for this hydrogen duplet for this hydrogen duplet yes now for the carbon one two three four five six seven eight octet configuration okay so it is sharing four electrons yes it is contributing four electrons have a look these all are shared pairs so let's try to write the bonds carbon one pair of electron so one bond one pair here another pair here another pair here yes understood this one so it can be written as ch4 this is methane okay the name is methane now let's discuss the properties of covalent compounds so the first one is covalent compounds constitute of molecules so as you could see earlier covalent compounds they are made up of molecules now have a look water h2o molecule hf molecule hcl molecule and so on ionic compounds were made up of ions whereas covalent compounds are made up of molecules okay very important point and these molecules are held by van der waal forces okay and these are weak forces compared to that of electrostatic force of attraction you know that ions were held together by electrostatic force of attraction and that was a very strong force whereas this van der waal forces they are weak forces van der waal forces are nothing but just intermolecular force of attraction okay so covalent compounds they are made up of molecules and they are held by weak van der waal forces this point very important next one the covalent compounds are gases or liquid or soft solids okay uh, what is the reason the reason is point number one because they are made up of molecules and the forces of attraction is weak that is why they are mainly gases or liquids you know that in solids the force of attraction is the highest yes in liquids it is less than solids and the least is in gases okay since covalent compounds have very weak force of attraction they are usually gases or liquids even if they are solids they will be very soft solids earlier you could see that in ionic compounds the ionic compounds were generally solid strong crystalline hard solids yes or no the reason is because they have very strong force of attraction that is the electrostatic force of attraction between ions okay and in the book okay it's given um covalent compounds with high molecular weight are soft solid example is given naphthalene okay sugar glucose their molecular weights are high and they are soft solids the molecules are very big okay large that is why they are soft solids and ethanol is liquid alcohol this is alcohol ethanol okay methane is a gas okay then next one is covalent compounds have low melting and boiling points okay what is the reason for low melting and boiling point again back to number one the reason is because of weak van der waal forces if the forces are weak okay there will be weak forces of attraction so they will have low melting points low boiling points but there are certain exceptions okay like for example diamond diamond is carbon okay uh, 
it is very hard you know the hardest substance it is uh, there will be covalent bonds okay this is an exception exception you understand no which do not follow the general rule they will have diamond has very high melting boiling point okay another one is SiO2 silicon dioxide it is sand next one <clears throat> Covalent compounds are non-conductors of electricity, okay, infused, that is molten state or in solid state, okay, they are non-conductors of electricity, why? Because uh, they do not have ions, you know that earlier you studied that in order to conduct electricity, there should be free ions, yes, free movable, movable ions, mobile ions, but since these covalent compounds are made up of molecules, they do not conduct electricity in fused state or in solid state, but there is exception, okay, exception is graphite, graphite, you know, it is a um, allotrope of carbon, it is a conductor of electricity. Then out here it's written, the reason is due to the absence of free ions as they consist of molecules. Yes, earlier you could see that ionic compounds, they conduct electricity in few state or in um, aqua solution. Why? Because they had free mobile ions. Okay, then in this connection there is this thing, some polar covalent compounds produces ions in aqua solution. Okay, but there are some covalent compounds which in presence of water, which in aqua solution, they can conduct electricity, okay, because they will form ions, like for example, HCl, okay. So, for this one, you need to know one thing. Covalent compounds are of two types, okay. There can be non-polar covalent compounds, covalent compounds, and another one is polar compounds, polar covalent compounds. Okay, like for example here, um, H2, okay, hydrogen, it is made from H and H, okay, same um, atom is there, same element, so the electronegativity difference will be zero, okay, this is non-polar, it does not have polarity, Okay, or distribution of charges or poles. I'll, I'll make you understand here. Polar covalent compound is HCl. Okay, HCl. Now, H and Cl, there will be a bond like this. Okay, here, now have a look. I'll draw for this one. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, the two shared electrons will be right in the middle. Okay, you can see that non-polar but here now have a look chlorine is more electronegative negative than hydrogen chlorine is more electronegative negative than hydrogen both are non-metal okay you know that uh, electronegativity is the property by which an atom can pull the shared pair of electron towards itself yes chlorine is electronegative okay so what happens is the shared pair won't be right in the middle okay it will be a little bit towards chlorine it will be pulling the shared electron towards itself so it won't be like pulling it entirely to itself but it will be slightly towards chlorine okay slightly towards chlorine so it will possess this chlorine will possess a small negative charge that is del minus del means small negative charge not entirely negative okay and hydrogen small positive charge del plus okay you could see in electrovalent compounds is like for example NaCl Na gave one electron okay entirely to chlorine so it will have a plus it will have a minus out here it is in it isn't given giving it entirely what is happening out here is the shared pair is slightly towards chlorine okay that is why a slight negative here entirely negative negative charge here a slight negative slight positive this is called polarity okay del plus and del minus these are called covalent compounds this is a covalent compound yes or no sharing this is sharing this these chlorine and hydrogen is sharing these two electrons yes but these electrons are placed a little bit towards chlorine because of more electronegativity of chlorine that is why it is getting del minus del plus this is called polar covalent compounds okay 
So non-polar, okay, where the there is no polarity. Okay, like for example, if you have this one earlier, you did know this is methane. Carbon and hydrogen also the electronegativity difference is like almost zero. Okay, so there will be no polarity. Here it is polar. Yes, another one is remember you we did water H two O. Okay, out here oxygen and with hydrogen bonds were there. No one two one two. Yes, this bond is also polar. It will have del minus. It will have del plus, del plus, del minus oxygen. So that is why it is called a polar solvent. Got it? Now, covalent compounds can be non-polar covalent and polar covalent compounds. Okay. So if polar covalent compounds, okay, if they are dissolved in water in aqua solution, in presence of water, they will conduct electricity. Okay. Why? Because... This now del plus and del minus, it will be, uh, it will form ions. Okay, it will form ions. So have a look, del plus, del minus in water, it will be separated. This one, out here it will be separated. Okay, and it will form free ions. If there are ions, what will happen? It will conduct electricity. Got it? So, some polar covalent compounds can produce ions in aqua solution, conducts electricity. Example is HCl. Okay. Then another one is covalent compounds are soluble in non-polar solvents. Okay. Non-polar solvents are carbon tetrachloride, benzene. The covalent compounds are non-polar, you know that. Yes. So, they are, they dissolve in non-polar solvents, but they are insoluble in polar solvents like water. Okay, earlier you could see that ionic compounds, polar, they are, uh, they are dissolving in polar solvents. Covalent compounds, non-polar, they dissolve in non-polar sol solvents. Okay, already I told you earlier, like dissolves like. Okay, similar kind of compounds dissolve in similar solvents. Okay, then after that, let's see the types of covalent bonds. Okay. There are three types of covalent bonds. The first one is single covalent bond. Second one is double covalent bond. And the third one is triple covalent bond. Now let's see what these are. First one, single covalent bond. As the name suggests, covalent bond, single. It's single, okay? So there will be just one bond between two atoms, Okay, and one bond means how many electrons? Two electrons. Two electrons means one pair of electrons. So bond formed by sharing one pair of electrons, that is two electrons, is called single covalent. Like for example, uh, here HCl. One bond, single covalent. One bond, H2, single covalent bond. Yes, another one is double covalent bond. As the name suggests, double means two. So a bond formed by sharing two pairs of electrons between two atoms is double covalent bonds. Okay, so double covalent bonds will be like this. See, between oxygen, there are two bonds. Yes, two bonds means how many electrons? One, two, three, four. Four electrons means two pair of electrons. So in double covalent bonds, they, two atoms will be sharing two pairs of electrons. Okay, two pairs of electrons. Two pairs means four electrons in between them. Okay, double covalent bond. Remember, it should be between the same two atoms. Okay, oh, here. So, example is oxygen molecule. Okay, so I'll just draw out here. Oxygen, you know that, okay, it is O2. Okay, oxygen, O2. So, oxygen, you know that, what is atomic number? Eight. What is the electro... Uh, Configuration, electronic configuration, 2, 6. Yes. So, oxygen is made up of two oxygen atoms. So, let's draw the electron dot structure. Now, you, uh, I need to tell you one thing. Electron dot structure is also called Lewis structure. Okay. Lewis dot diagram, Lewis structure, electron dot diagram. Same thing. Okay. So, if you get, draw the Lewis diagram. For the formation of what uh, H2 molecule, it means electron dot diagram. Okay, this is another name. So, oxygen 6. 
so one two three four five and six okay then another one one two three four five and six two oxygen atoms now this oxygen wants to have eight electrons in order to have eight electrons it needs to have two more yes so it will contribute two electrons to form two covalent bonds so it will contribute one again one okay again it will contribute another another yes so we'll have oxygen one two one two now this is contributing two electrons another oxygen atom is also contributing two electrons and four of its own yes this is the structure so let's count the number of electrons one two three four five six seven eight yes four of its own then this four they will share no they are sharing so one two three four five six seven eight yes eight electrons for this oxygen octate one two three four of its own then four shared one two three four five six seven eight eight electrons both octate yes so when you write the bonds oh, oh. how many pairs two electron pairs so two bonds okay then one two three four one two three four okay you can write it as O2. right then next one is triple covalent bond triple as the name suggests three so there will be three bonds okay between two atoms see three bonds between two atoms triple covalent bond bond formed by sharing three pairs of electrons three bonds means three pair of electrons three pair of electrons means three into two six electrons one pair means three two electrons no a pair means two so between two atoms there will be three pairs of electrons triple covalent bond example is that of nitrogen molecule okay n2 is nitrogen so n2 nitrogen yes nitrogen you know uh the configuration is 2,5 7 is the elect uh, atomic number so n okay one two three four five i'll draw like this one two three four five it needs to have eight how many it needs more five six seven and eight three more so it will share three electrons to form three bonds okay another n one two three four five okay so this nitrogen will contribute okay one one again one one okay i'll draw like this one one yes so we'll have n yes n one two of its own then three in the middle one two three sharing this nitrogen one two three one two yes are you getting it now let's count one two three four five six seven eight octate here this nitrogen one two three four five six seven eight eight octate complete yes so let's draw the bonds and then is there how many one two three four five six six electrons means three electron pairs yes one two and three fine two of its own two of its own so this is your n2 molecule yes so that is your triple covalent bond so we have got three single double and triple you need to remember the examples okay then we have uh, more molecules okay you need to let's see the structure okay the electron dot diagram for their formation okay carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide co2 okay carbon one carbon is there two oxygen are there carbon you know it is the atomic number is six so it will have two comma four four five six yes then oxygen it is eight two comma six okay six electrons so carbon 
carbon have a look it will have four electrons it needs four more to have octet okay so it will share four electrons yes it will contribute four electrons to form four bonds oxygen it requires two so it will share two so what does it do four it needs to share and this oxygen needs to share two so this will share two to one oxygen and two to another oxygen okay there are two oxygen so carbon four i'll draw like this okay so it's easier to show oxygen six no one two three four five and six all right and oxygen one two three four five and six right okay this will contribute to two right two here okay so we'll have carbon okay one two shed this oxygen is sharing this in here oh here yes contributed two contributed and another oxygen contributed two one two one two yes so now have a look this oxygen one two three four five six seven eight yes one two three four of its own then this four shared no it's sharing oxygen and carbon is sharing one two three four five six seven eight can i make the circle like this yes eight this oxygen one two three four five six seven eight circle here this carbon one two three four five six yes all eight octate stable configuration the reason for sharing is to get the stable configuration of octet okay to gain stability so carbon now let's draw the bonds carbon okay so sorry here it should be here now carbon okay how many shared pairs here two so two bonds yes then oxygen one two one two how many shared pairs two oxygen one two one two okay this is the structure of carbon dioxide yes then another one is ethene okay ethene is c2h4 c2h4 ethene okay another one is ethene so we have carbon two okay then hydrogen four okay so now have a look carbon is carbon is uh six so two comma four yes hydrogen is one so configuration is one electron dot structure just one okay now have a look there are two carbons okay two carbons and four hydrogens okay if you divide the hydrogens then each carbon will get two two okay so carbon carbon i'll draw like this then hydrogen two two one two one two okay now uh have a look this has four electrons yes it needs to have octet eight okay so it needs to share all of its four electrons one one it will do it with hydrogen hydrogen okay so i can write one two okay then hydrogen out here one one okay two 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 hydrogen will get here cross cross one one it will share okay then how many are left for this carbon two are left so one two okay in our okay this need it needs to share all four of its yes or no contribute okay to form form a shared pair so this also it's gonna sh share with carbon so have a look here it will share yes and here both of its electrons it will share with carbon yes okay so what we will get is carbon carbon yes this will be in the middle one two one two both carbon are sharing then here and here h shared here and here h here and here here 
and here h h right so i have a look for this hydration to find for this hydration to find two two now for this carbon it is sharing with hydrogen hydrogen and carbon one two three four five six seven eight yes octate this carbon one two three four five six seven eight yes all stable so let's try to draw the bonds carbon carbon is there one two three four two pairs are there so two bonds yes then with hydrogen one pair one bond one pair one bond one pair one bond one pair one bond okay so this is the structure then you can write ch2 double bond ch2 it will be c2 h4 yes this is the structure then you have okay this one ethyne okay c2h2 c2h2 this is called ethyne t-h-y-n-e okay so carbon you know that it will have two four four electrons and hydrogen one four electrons one electron in the outermost shell okay then now have a look c2 are there okay one two two hydrogen okay one one it will take okay here one here one okay hydrogen will have one electron of its own yes then carbon can share one of its electron with hydrogen okay it has one of its own one it can share with this one then how many are left for this carbon one two and three here also one two and three okay four one two three four one two three four one one it is sharing with hydrogen now it needs to have eight so this also it needs to share yes so sharing like this okay this also contribute one one contribute one one okay it's like this so when you write there will be carbon carbon okay three here three here sharing okay and here and here here and hide with hydrogen sharing yes now let's count for this hydrogen one and two duplet one and two duplet then for this carbon one two three four five six seven eight yes octet for this carbon one two three four five six seven eight octet yes or no now let's try to draw the bonds c c carbon in between how many shared electron pairs okay pair is three one two three here is one here is one okay so this is the bond these are the bonds okay this is a triple bond as you can see yes earlier okay, where is it here this is a double bond double covalent bond this is a, these are single okay four single covalent bonds here also this is single covalent bond single these are triple covalent bonds now finally we have got here differences between electrovalent compounds and covalent compounds first electrovalent they are composed of ions you know that covalent they are composed of molecules electrovalent compounds are formed by the transfer of electrons from one atom to another whereas here it is formed by the mutual sharing both of the atoms they share electrons and here electrovalent compounds that is ionic compounds no they are generally hard solid why because the force of attraction is very strong yes um very strong electrostatic force of attraction they are gaseous liquids or soft solids you know that high melting point for ionic low melting point for covalent yes then they can conduct electricity in molten state that is the liquid state and it's aqua solution but you know that in solid state ionic compounds cannot conduct electricity because the free ions are not available 
and covalent compounds non conductors of electricity but polar covalent compounds when present in water they can conduct okay they are soluble in polar solvents ionic compounds okay and not insoluble in non polar covalent they are soluble in non polar and insoluble in polar solvents then finally uh this portion let's see out here limitation of octet rule of covalent compounds bond formation by lewis we saw that for the formation of covalent compounds the atoms need uh wants to have octet okay but there are certain exceptions in which the atoms do not when they form the covalent bond when they form the covalent bond they do not attain octet okay the exceptions are here be x2 okay beryllium okay b x2 out here b e x2 is there this is beryllium okay then x2 x can be anything halogen chloride bromide iodide and all okay suppose chlorine is there let's see beryllium beryllium the atomic number is 4 so it will have 2 comma 2 okay then chlorine you know that 7 no so 2 8 7 so beryllium how many two chlorine are there so beryllium 2 1 2 yes valence then chlorine okay 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay this is the shared pair so chlorine here 1 2 3 4 okay five six seven okay it will be like this have a look this chlorine one two three four five six seven then this pair is they are sharing okay one is contributed by chlorine one is contributed by beryllium here one is contributed by chlorine one beryllium so one two three four five six seven okay of its own now let's count the number of electrons one two three four five six seven eight for this chlorine one two three four five six seven eight for this chlorine for beryllium one two three and four just four is the octet complete no there is octet no so this is an exception okay then boron bx3 boron it will have three electrons in the valence shell okay then expanded octet is px5 okay it will have uh, this phosphorus will have uh, more than eight electrons okay so those are the exceptions.